When a fighter bursts onto the scene, exhibiting cruel intentions, keen to destroy every adversary into submission. He's gotta be moving, he's gotta use his legs. Oh, big right foot, right. Benavides! That's it. Oh. David Benavidez's aggression is steadfast. You either knuckle down and fight, or get obliterated. Canelo, Charlo, and Caleb playing. You know, I'm here to stay, and I'm here to give the people the best fights they wanna see. January 7, 2016, Benavidez would start the year against Kevin Cobb, who was on a four-fight win streak. Benavidez started the contest quickly and kept Cobb's at a distance. Right to the box. He's the real deal, sparring these big guys and uh, time to punch in front of him, you know, a decent record, so, so you got to be very careful. After one minute and eight seconds of the second round, Benavidez demolished Cobb with a barrage of punches, causing the referee to end the fight. After defeating Philip Benson in the second round on the undercard, Victor Ortiz versus Andre Berto too. Benavidez would take the next fight on the undercard of Keith Thurman versus Sean Porter against Francie and T2. It was an entertaining fight where both boxers traded, but Benavidez threw the more devastating punches and ended the contest with a TKO in the seventh round. Cups inside here, and then a good left hook and a right hand by Benavides. Benavides right hand. This has to come off. David Benavides! On March 24, 2017, it was announced that Benavidez would fight against the rugged Mexican Rogelio Porky Medina. Benavidez started fast, landing multiple combinations, outpacing Medina, dropping him three times, and ending the fight in the eighth round. At the age of five and a back to the body is Rogelio Medina. You gotta, you gotta throw a different type of jab. Medina in some trouble. On September 8, 2017, Benavidez became the youngest super middleweight champion in history after beating Ronald Gavril. Good step. Gavril's done a good job. And now he's going back with the Benavidez combination. Drops Gavril into the ropes. Two left hands, a little left hand, and a crashing right hand. Benavidez made it through a final round of knockdown, getting back up to his feet to finish a fight. The knockdown was enough for Gabriel to get a rematch with Benavidez. Benavidez left no stone unturned, taking care of business and winning by a wide margin to retain his title. 
On August 15, 2020, Benavidez made the first defense of his title when he fought the powerful, hard-hitting contender Alexis Angulo. Benavidez failed to make the 168-pound limit. 170.84 Benavidez, 170.8. Having tipped the scale at 170.8 pounds, which forced him to surrender his title. It didn't, however, stop him from dominating Angulo, putting on an extraordinary performance. There, Lobo is sticking him. A left hook by the 23 can still win the world title, so this is a championship fight for Alexis Angulo. And he's already been a one point. There's a right. Look at that hand speed fight. Final moments up. What hold his head, David. Benavides starting to really tee off on Alexis Sangulo. Johnny Callis may want to get in there. A left hook that connected by Angulo. But Johnny Callis may want to get in there and possibly stop this fight. Right uppercut. Benavides potted away upon. And his face is starting to swell. That was a dominant performance by David Benavides. A lot of people outside the ring, they talk like they're killers, but they get in the ring, they're not killers. Yeah, you know I me? Agree, I agree 100%. I'm in the ring, I don't gotta act like I'm a killer outside the ring, but everybody knows what it is when I'm in the ring, you know? Benavidez made his return to the ring in March of 2019, ending the fight quickly against J. Leon Love, knocking him out in two rounds. The win would set up a fight against the battle-tested Anthony Durrell who had won the WBC super middleweight title in Benavidez's absence. I think you're gonna knock him out. I might break his ribs in the first first two rounds, so I don't know, we gonna see. Come Saturday night, who leaves Staples Center with the belt? And steel. And new. Benavidez gradually wiped out Durrell, opening a vicious cut over his eye with a right hand in the sixth round and putting him away with a series of combinations in the ninth round. Terrell, he's hanging on a thread just right now, just getting battered by David Benavides. I got him up these last four That's rounds. It. They're going to stop the fight right now. That will do it. Benavides once again won the super middleweight title, making him a two-time WBC champion. Absolutely. I knew it was going to happen. I had the fire, he didn't, you know what I mean? And um, I came in here, I said I was going to look spectac spectacular. That's what I did. David Benavidez fought against another preparatory opponent in Ronald Ellis. Ronald Ellis was a very dangerous veteran who only had one loss coming into the fight. Two-time WBC super middleweight champion of the world, introducing El Bandera Roja, David Benavidez. Reckless Ellis. Ellis showed incredible determination and a firm chin as he absorbed the relentless assault from the former two-time world champion, which ultimately led to the stoppage. For the former two-time hunter. On a regular basis. Yeah, you are absolutely right. Remember Benavidez. Hold on, but now Benavidez at the right distance here, Abner. He is teeing off on Ellis. Yeah, he definitely is teeing off. He's and Benavidez is in, in, in increased the ropes, but you know, he, he'll come back with his own. He's got to throw it again. That body shot definitely hurt him. Oh, right uppercut, another uppercut, another uppercut, and now David. The, the powerful one. But in this case, Benavides oh, has both hands at our power. Benavides again. A he was the man that uh, Ellis beat to win the Golden Gloves Championship. Very intently with Ellis pinned in the corner. And now Benavides un still undefeated. El Bandera Roja, David Benavides. And of course, everybody in this division wants Canelo Alvarez. You said, hey, look, I need to earn that fight. If you guys fought right now, do you think David Benavides could take Can Canelo Alvarez? I definitely feel like I'd beat Canelo Alvarez, and I feel like it would right be... Right now? Right now, I'd beat Canelo Alvarez, and I feel like it would be a great fight for the fans, too. At the end of the day, people want to see great fights and fireworks, and that's what I give. Yeah.